What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And with this video, we are diving into a brand new chapter of the Iron Fist. This will be Iron Fist issue number one. This story is brought to us by Alyssa Wong, Michael Weig, and J. David Ramos. And like many of you, I am sure that you're a little bit skeptical about getting this issue. Because many of us, we love Danny Rand as the Iron Fist. And I think a lot of fans, they're going to really be pleasantly surprised to see who is underneath the mask. Because once I found out, I was 100% in on this comic. With Danny Rand giving up the power of being the Iron Fist, we have Sholau the Undying, the Immortal Dragon. He is currently resting in his egg, waiting for the new Iron Fist. Be sure to buy the comic, support the industry, and with that being said, Let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this brand new chapter in the Iron Fist mythos, our story is picking us up in Kunlun. And right now we have several individuals, they are currently training. And in the midst of their training, this is where we see the egg, it begins to hatch. Many people being concerned because without that chi, without Xiao Lao, this city is left undefended. And that's what jumps us to right now in New York City. And we are picking up with Danny Rand. Now Danny Rand, we all know he is no longer the Iron Fist. Giving up his powers, giving up his abilities so that he could save the world. But nonetheless, he is still a brilliant and an amazing martial artist. Arguably, one of the best in the world. And so while he may not have the power of the Iron Fist, he can still kick some demon butt. And that's exactly where we pick up, with him on the phone with Luke Cage. Luke Cage trying to make sure that everything's on the up and up with him. But the truth of the matter is right now, Danny Rand, he is in the middle of a fight. And with Danny Rand getting caught off guard, one of these demons, they end up on top of him. With it not looking good for our former Iron Fist, this is where we see the arrival of the new Iron Fist. With him coming in and using the Iron Fist, driving his fist directly through the demon's chest. And when he punches through the chest of this demon, it appears that he is able to grab something small, green, and glowing. And with Danny Rand seeing this, he quickly realizes this isn't necessarily the power of Sho Wow. But by all appearances, this individual is dressed up like the Iron Fist, wielding power looking very similar to the Iron Fist. And with Danny Rand getting up to his feet and the two of them fighting back to back, this is where Danny Rand, he starts asking his questions, trying to figure out if this is in fact the new Iron Fist. Letting him know that his little dress up, his cosplay, it looks awesome. That you almost really do look like the part of the Iron Fist. The only problem is that you need the Chi of the Dragon. Because this is what defines who the Iron Fist is. You need to have the heart of the dragon. And that is where we see his fist begins to light up with a fiery red. Because this is in fact our Iron Fist. With Danny recognizing that this is in fact the real deal, he begins to ask how this is possible. But there seems to be something wrong with our new Iron Fist. With the heart of the dragon flickering in his hand, it appears that he doesn't have a full connection to the Chi. And with that power beginning to flicker and the demons defeated, we see our young warrior, he makes his getaway. Danny Rand standing here not understanding what the heck just happened. But this is where we are brought to a rooftop. This is where we learn the true identity of our brand new Iron Fist. And we learned that he is none other than the Swordmaster, the one known as Lin Lai. And while some of you may be asking, who the heck is Lin Lai? 
If you go back to the death of Doctor Strange, White Fox issue, it's gonna get you completely caught up all the way to right where we are right now. Lin Lai is a relatively new character, I think he came out in 2018 roughly, is when he was created and first brought to Marvel Comics. And we really haven't got too much of a solo story with him. Usually operating with White Fox in one-shot issues, it's really awesome that Lin Lai is finally getting the opportunity to shine. Because I really do love Swordmaster, I love White Fox, I really do love our Asian culture Marvel comics. And this has really helped kill my skepticism for this new Iron Fist. Because honestly, if anyone does deserve to have the Iron Fist, it's going to be Lin Lai. But for a recap, for those that don't understand, this all started with a demon. A very ancient demon that both him and White Fox had been fighting against. And in the middle of this fight, the demon had shattered the sword that belonged to his family. But this wasn't an ordinary sword. This was a divine weapon. The Sword of Fuzai. It is one of three weapons forged to prevent Chai Yu, the god of war, from rising against and devouring the world. The sword was supposed to be unbreakable. But right before his very eyes, the sword had shattered into pieces. And he went falling off of the cliff. Landing in the water, he doesn't really remember much after that. As he floated to the bottom of the water, a fiery ring appears. This ring appearing to be the heart of the dragon. With Lin unconscious this entire time, the next thing he remembers is waking up on the shores of Kung Lun. And so we're having to assume that the chi of the dragon, the heart of the dragon, it chose him as the new Iron Fist. And when he had awoken on that shoreline, he had no idea where he was. All he knew is that his hands were in agony, and they had been imbued with shards of the sword that belonged to his family. And with the destruction of this sword, this is where things are gonna get a little bit sticky. Because Chai Yu is sealed in three tombs, each one being protected by the power of a divine weapon. And Lin Lai's father, he had pulled that weapon from the tomb. And when that sword had been pulled, part of the Dark Destroyer's power was released into the world. That sword had been his duty. It had been his absolute identity. And if you caught previous issues, you picked that up right away. Believing that everything was an attack from Chai Yu. Believing that the demons of the God of War had been at his doorstep every step of the way. 90% of the time, it's not actually demons from the God of War. Usually, it's something else and he brings his powers to the table to fight alongside White Fox. But now that he doesn't have this sword, he is no longer referred to as the Swordmaster. And so now, he is questioning his entire identity. What does he do now? Even though he has this new power as the Iron Fist, that was never his duty. That was never his job to do. But with him up here sitting and contemplating his entire existence, Danny Rand has found him. And with Lin Lai getting ready to just take off, Danny Rand lets him know that he just wants to have a conversation. Because he would really love to know how this kid ended up with the Chi. With Lin not really wanting to stick around saying that he has his own mission, Danny Rand has already picked up on what he is doing, trying to gather up these glowing green shards. And Danny Rand, he really is trying to get to this kid and, and just bond with him in some kind of way. Being the Iron Fist previously, he really does want to know more about this kid. But Lin Lai, he wants nothing to do with him. That is, until Danny Rand shows him one of the shards, a piece of the sword that Danny Rand had found. And by found, I mean he pickpocketed it off of Lin Lai. With Lin Lai going in on Danny Rand trying to land any kind of punch, Danny Rand is able to dodge every single one of them. And while he dodges them, this is where he is trying to have a conversation with him, really just asking his name, asking how old he is, asking where he comes from, so on and so forth. And though Lin Lai, he is trying to get tough with Danny Rand, Danny Rand more than anybody, he understands the martial art forms that come out of Kung Lun. He recognizes all of the martial art forms 
that had been performed by the Iron Fist. And with Danny Rand putting Lin Lai on his freaking butt, he is letting him know that you have a lot to learn. Because at this point, you don't even know how to control the dragon's chi. And though he still has a lot to learn, he was able to steal the shard from Danny Rand, letting him know that he is a quick study. He had snagged it off of him, and this is where Lin Lai, he takes off. With Danny Rand in hot pursuit behind him, we see the Iron Fist, he is running through the subways, and this is where a portal opens up to Kung Wan. With Danny Rand not understanding how it is possible that there is a gateway right there in front of him. This is something that should not be, but regardless, our Iron Fist, he runs through the gateway, and it disappears before Danny Rand is able to get through the gateway. And this is where we arrive at Kung Wan. Being greeted by my men, we are learning that Chai Yu has already started sending demons to attack this city. But luckily, our Iron Fist, he has no work to do. Because my men, she had already taken care of this before he made his arrival. And as they continue going on into the city, Lin Lai can't help but think that this is all his fault. That Chai Yu, the god of war, and all of his minions, they would not be descending down on this city if it had not been for him. If he had not gotten the chi from the dragon. Though my men, she doesn't really blame him. Because for this mystical city, this is nothing new. This is something that they deal with on a regular basis. So while today it may be Chai Yu, there is always some kind of force trying to break into this mystical city. And if it had not been for the dragon, Lin Lai would be dead right now. With my men picking him up on that shoreline, after he had been given the gift, the heart of the dragon, and my men, she truly does want to be the protector of this city. While she's not necessarily going after the power of the Iron Fist, she does want to be one of the great defenders of this city. But as my men gets back to her parents' house with the Iron Fist, they are all about to sit down and have some dinner. And as he sees how they all interact with one another, this really does make him miss his brother and his father. Because right before he had found the sword, both of them had gone missing. He has not seen them since that day. And so this sword, or the pieces of this sword, these are the last things he have that belong to his family. Luckily enough for Lin Lai, he has an extra way of protecting these shards. A box, a puzzle box given to him by the Sorcerer Supreme. That way, if the demon army does break into the city and they get their hands on this puzzle box, they may not necessarily be able to open it up and give the divine weapon to the God of War. But as our new Iron Fist sits down with all of the family, we kind of just get a quick breakdown of everything that has been going on. Talking about one of the sacred weapons. His sword that is shattered into pieces. Those pieces that are now embedded in his hand, or at least some of them are. He's not able to get all of the pieces out of his hand, and it is causing him unbearable agony. But his hopes is that he can collect every single piece and every single shard so that he can reforge this weapon. And it could be quite possible that Chai Yu, the god of war in his army, they are now after the Chi of the Dragon. But it could be just as easily that they are just after Lin Lai. And the fact that he has the power of the Iron Fist, it could be relatively irrelevant in comparison to the power that would be let loose if Chai Yu ever broke free and got his hands on those divine weapons. They are also speculating that maybe it's the shard's fault, having these shards embedded in his hand. Lately, he has been leaking spiritual energy, and so this is what could have drawn the heart of the dragon to him. With that sword being fully imbued with spiritual energy, it's bound to attract some kind of supernatural. Now, while everyone is sitting down, the father, he gets up from his seat and he goes into the other room. And we begin to see something that is truly supernatural. With him out of eyesight, he begins to transform. It looks like that he is turning into a demon of Chai Yu. Unsure of how this got into the city. Unsure how the father had been tainted by this evil. This mystical city is soon going to be under siege. 
And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like I said, I am 100% on board with this brand new chapter coming from Melissa Wong. You know, every time that we get a, a story with the Swordmaster or White Fox, anytime we are getting stories that are outside of our normal, you know I'm 100% on board for. But when it comes to White Fox and Lin Lai, I, I really have been loving everything that Marvel is doing with them. And though they have been used in such a limited capacity, I am so glad that Lin Lai is finally front and center in New York City and now has the power of the Iron Fist. But Lin Lai, he has yet to appreciate what being the Iron Fist really is about. The truth of the matter is that he is so focused on Chai Yu, so focused on that ancestral sword that he doesn't even care about the power of the Iron Fist. And this really does play into his character so well. Because if you see his attitude, his persona, he is 100% dedicated to destroying Chai Yu and his demon army. So much so that it has become his entire personality. Everything he is about, everything that he loves and likes, it all connects back to the Chai Yu. And so I think this is going to be a great opportunity for some character arc for Lin Lai. Giving him an opportunity to see past his family's duty. To see past the inheritance of that sword to finally see that there is a world out there that isn't just about Chaiyu and the demon army that there is a world out there filled with mystical things things that he doesn't understand there is a world out there living laughing loving and having fun not only that Chaiyu isn't the one and only demon out there that you should be focusing on because the truth is there are so many evils out there that if you truly wanted to do some good in this world, being the Iron Fist would be the best first step. And this is not to diminish who he is as Swordmaster, but to show him a brighter and bigger perspective of the entire world. Because his whole life, ever since his brother and father had disappeared, he has been on a one-track mind. And so I am so very excited to see this new path he is going to be blazing. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you have not yet, do me a favor. Hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content that we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.